After doing a few trials at 136 degrees, we tried one at 140 degrees centigrade. It took about 20 minutes for the temperature to reach that level. As you can see, the finished product looked fine. The, it was dry enough, but if you look at the place where you feed the raw material ingredient, you'll see that it's dripping all over the place. As you can see, we also have a problem at the end of the process. Sometimes the finished product does not fall properly and messes up the stacking at the end of the line. But the bigger problem really is that in less than 10 minutes, the temperature dropped from 140 degrees centigrade to below 125 degrees. The problem of having too much of the raw material ingredient being fed is even worse now, as you can see from the video down here. The temperature finally dropped to 116 degrees only after 15 minutes from the time we started producing and look what happens. It cannot cook the product anymore and eventually the whole thing gets stuck. When the temperature finally reached 113 degrees, we stopped it and the temperature started going up again. It took about 15 to 20 minutes to reach 140 degrees finally. After that, we tried a temperature setting of 160 degrees. It took maybe about 15 minutes to reach that temperature. And when we started uh, putting the raw material in, as you can see, the finished product came out fine, consistency was just right, but we still had the problem of the raw material ingredient being overfed and spilling over. The other problem was that the temperature dropped very quickly. In less than 10 minutes, it was down to 120 degrees again, and this time from 160 degrees centigrade. In another two minutes, the temperature was again down to 100 17 and we had the same problem of the product not being cooked and everything got stuck all over again.